How's it going y'all? Milo TCG here and today we're going to be ranking the Blue Eyes Red Dragon card arts from best to worst. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We have S tier through D tier. And uh, you may or may not agree with some of these choices, but hey, let me know. So to start it off here, we do have some of the older arts. Um, we have the original Bandai Blue Eyes White Dragon. So let's go ahead and honestly to me, I love it. It's S tier. Uh, it just it brings out like what the blue eyes are supposed to look like and overall it's just pretty cool looking art and since it was the first one That's not why I love it, but it just has an overall original looking design and it's crisp Up next we have the Pharaoh's tin reprint. It was supposed to look like the Bandai blue eyes white dragon Honestly, it kind of pulled it off, but not really uh, We're gonna put that at B tier although it is one of my favorites this one here is from one of the older video games. Um, you can hardly see it. It looks okay. It's like a sprite almost kind of card. We'll go ahead and put that in C tier. Um, this is from Rush Duels. It actually looks really cool. I'm a big fan of it. We're going to go ahead and throw that in the A tier. I actually do own one of these cards. And it just it looks fantastic for what it is. Next we do have one of the remakes here. I believe this was a jump version if I'm not mistaken. Um, we can go ahead. Honestly, with all the cosmic looking stuff in the background, it's just, it looks really amazing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and place that in S tier. They just put a lot of work into that card. You can tell it looks great. There's so much detail into it. And I can't help but put it in S tier. Next we do have, this one's currently uh, available only in Japan. Uh, it's Kaiba with the blue eyes art dragon in the back. It looks amazing. It's great. We're going to go ahead and place that at... We're going to go ahead and put that in S tier. It, they did really well to make the blue eyes pretty representable of the card. And with Kaiba on it, I mean, it's a character card too. So why not? It looks really great. Let's see here. It looks like another Rush Duel card. Um... I mean, we, we just kind of have to put that. That one looks even better because it has the attack. Actually, we can place that in S tier because it does have the white lightning attack about to be fired off. There's a bit more detail into it. Looks great. If I'm not mistaken, this is also a Rush Duel. This is going to be based off the Legend of the Blue Eyes Right Dragon card art. And we're going to put that in A tier. It does look great. I don't think it's great enough for S tier. And I don't own it. So I can't really say... This is, again, from another one of the older video games. It is the Bandai Blue Eyes White Dragon art. It's more sprite looking. We're going to go ahead and place this one at B tier. Uh, it's not an official card, so, I mean, you can't really own it. Tablet, D tier. Straight to D tier. I hate this art. It has been reprinted into the ground. It just doesn't look good. Um, just a really derpy looking art, honestly. Uh, if you like tablet art, I'm sorry. I just, I can't deal with it. This one here is from the movie pack. Uh, you know what? It's a really good looking Blue Eyes White Dragon. We'll go ahead and place that in the A tier. Uh, again, there's just a lot of design into it. It looks really great. The colors look amazing the way they blend. But not quite good enough for S tier. This is going to be the Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon art. Uh, or from the, the tin as well. And it's cool looking. I love it. I want to put an A tier, but I think it's, it's a pretty mid card. We'll go ahead and place it in B tier. Um, some of the older Yu-Gi-Oh fans might be upset with that. I'm an older Yu-Gi-Oh fan too, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's just, I've always liked the structure deck art over the Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon art. So, we'll leave it at that. This was the first promo I've ever gotten. It was, uh, the jump art for Blue Eyes. I love the world in the background, white lightning going off. This is S tier. There's a lot of S tier Blue Eyes arts, so bear with me. It's really hard to mess this card up unless, of course, you think the tablet's good, then don't know what to tell you. That card art sucks. We're going to go ahead and go to the next one, which is the year anniversary. Um, I do like the tower, all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and place that in... We'll place that in A tier. It's a really good looking card. Very solid design. It kind of it kind of reminds me of Godzilla for some reason, even though he's never been on top of a tower. It's more of like a King Kong reference, but I just think it looks really great with the uh, the moon and stuff in the back. And last but not least, the OG, the one that started it all. Well, I mean, technically it's the Bandai, but 
for all of us older collectors, we didn't have Bandai cards back then, let's be real, unless you like stumbled upon one from somebody who visited in Japan through your sister's cousin's cousin or something. We're going to place this one at, uh, honestly, I want to say A tier. Because, why not? Um, it does look amazing. And it's better than the, um, the Legend of the Blue Eyes art, but it's not like beating out any of the ones in S tier. It does look good though. Uh, it's a very solid representation of what the Blue Eyes art dragon is. It's from the show, but uh, it's not S tier in my opinion. But yeah, this is going to be the list for the Blue Eyes White Dragon arts. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you are a tablet enjoyer, I'm sorry, but that card art is bad. And I wish it never would have been made. But yeah, that's it for the video today. We'll see you in the next one. As always, happy collecting all that fun stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more content. And let me know if you want to make another tier list based off another monster art. I know there's several other dual monsters that do have uh, several card arts that we could rank. But yeah, until next time, bye.